Hello and welcome to this quick video on this new receiver from Beta FPV. This is the Super P 14 channel diversity receiver available in both 2.4 and 915 and 868 Express LRS versions. Now this is one that I've only had in for a couple of days and we seem to have an embarrassment of riches when it comes to choices for PWM ELRS receivers because last week we had a look at the brand new stuff from Radio Master where they released seven of these things. Now this it is a 14 channel receiver. It is 15.6 grams in weight. Dimensions are 47 millimeters by 33 millimeters by 15 millimeters. The telemetry power is 100 milliwatts and again available in 2.4 and 868 and 915. Working voltage is a nice wide range, 3.5 to 8.4 volts. So you can run it directly off your battery. Pulls about 180 milliamps, has two antennas. They're 150 millimeters. And the signals supported on this are PWM, as you would expect, because there are 14 PWM channels, but really excitingly, CRSF and SBUS. And we'll come back to that SBUS exciting news in a minute. Now, looking at this thing, on here we have a Type-C port so that you can plug it in, which is nice to see a USB-C port on a receiver like this. Then on the other side, we have a GH23 port pin and then we have a GH2 four port pin which has uh, channels 11 and 12 on it as a serial clock and a serial data line essentially an I squared C connection then at the end we have connections for PWM stuff channels 1 to 10 and then channels 13 and 14 are presented along with the VBAT now this comes with lots of cables already in the package including a Y lead and the leads for the side pieces as well as the lead that you could potentially use to connect into your battery to monitor the VBAT. The RGB that's on here has been changed a little bit so that it's one of the new style multicolor. So the multicolors to show you what's going on. If it's flashing a rainbow, it's just powering on. If it's green, slow flashing, it's Wi-Fi upgrade. Red, quick flash, it's no RF chip detected. Orange double flash is binding mode, etc., etc. So it makes it a lot easier for you to figure out what is going on. Now, this hasn't shipped with any binding phrase, so to connect to it, all you have to do is just power it three times quickly, and away you go. And really interesting, it is using Express LRS version 3.3. So I've been having a look at it on the computer. It currently doesn't show it's 3.3 because it's, I think, it's got to be a beta version, right? But it is interesting to go through here and set everything up. However, through this interface at the moment, I cannot select the SBUS stuff. What I had to do for that was go into the Express LRS Lua script on the radio, connect to it, and then it did give me the chance to change from PWM to CRSF to SBUS. Now, when it's configured for SBUS, Channel 14 should become the SBUS out, and when configuring for CRSF, channel 13 becomes the receive pin, channel 14 becomes the transmit pin. And the receiver's channels 11 and 12 are set on the I squared C pins output by default, where channel 13 becomes 11 and 14 becomes 12. It is a little bit complicated, in my humble opinion, about how all that stuff works. And unfortunately, I couldn't get the SBUS stuff to be seen despite having set it up and checking with Beta FPV that I've done it the right way. However, that's not necessarily a big issue at the moment because this is running the beta software. I'm hoping that when the final version comes out, it's all gonna burst into life. But it's exciting to see that we are super close and starting to even get some of these receivers with the SBUS stuff enabled, we are running Express LRS version 3.3. Now I'll pop a link down below so you can go and have a look at this one as well. So if you're a pilot that uses a lot of PWM kit, then at the moment you are spoiled for choice and it's nice to see Beta FPV joining in the party with this latest edition. When Express LRS 3.3 is finally officially released, we'll circle back and update this and see if we can get the SBUS stuff all working. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. 
If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.